November 8, 2013. Super Typhoon High and devastated Eastern Visayas, leaving almost nothing to Wainons. Even though the strongest cyclone to ever hit land brought significant loss to the fisheries industry, most especially in the aquaculture, it has opened wider opportunities to fisher folk communities of Region 8. Opportunities to learn, explore, and become innovative. This opened the door for submersible fish cage farming. Through the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources Regional Office 8 and the Quick Impact Project of the Japan International Cooperation Agency, this technology has been introduced by Nito Simo to fisher folk communities in the region. As resilient as the people of Eastern Visayas, submersible fish cages can withstand strong waves brought by typhoons and can last up to 50 years. Other than typhoons, these cages can minimize damage caused by storm surges and flush floods. It can also avoid red tide, turbid water, and floating debris as the fishes are submerged and secured properly by nets. Sunburn in fishes can also be avoided giving the cultured fish species a shinier color. A guardhouse is also provided in order to avoid theft. Likewise, the technology contributes to less fishing pressure in the ocean since it practices fish farming in open seas. Above all, it presents promising entrepreneurial benefits to future cage operators. One unit of 10 meter diameter submersible fish cage can give you almost 200,000 pesos per cropping. Imagine owning at least 4 units of these cages and multiply it by 2 or 3 croppings per year. Good fortune, you say? I was happy. I was happy. I was Submersible fish cage still has a long way to go. But one thing is for sure. This is another innovative hope not only for fisher fox and investors, but also for our entire fish protein consuming population.